Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. So I've been super, super busy here, doing all sorts of stuff. Camera wasn't working, now it's working, so I'm going to do a video. So, another Ameritron AL811 amplifier. It's getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company, awesome customer service. So I'll go over everything that I see so far. I'll set a tube flash. Meter protection diode is shorted. I'll add the gas discharge tube to the base of the socket, tube socket. Just one per side of the filament. I'll remove the one off the board. And also a metal oxide variester if there's one on there. Needs new SO239s. The one on the output side has like no grip. So I always change both. With high quality ones I get from Max Gain Systems. This one isn't as bad. Not 100% great, but the output one has like no grip. Okay, so I'll repair the issues and then tighten up hardware, fix solder joints, and do anything else it needs. So please stay tuned and I will see you guys soon. I removed the shaft, it goes from the band switch to the input rotary switch and also that shield and the metal wall. The SO239s have been removed. All of the screws are like really loose. So I'm going to go over all the hardware like I usually do. So I'm sure a lot of it's loose. Okay, so I'm going to take that gas discharge tube out and also the metal oxide variester. You know, people say, why do you do that? You know, uh, the earlier ones don't have gas discharge tubes. They start adding them on the board. I put them at the socket. I'd rather, you know, if a tube were to flash from the anode to the filament, I'd rather have it brought to ground right at the socket than back feed through everything on the board, which can cause damage. Here are the new SO239s, the Teflon silver plated ones with gold plated with a gold plated center conductor so I'm gonna get back to work and I will see you guys soon stay tuned also I always zip tie the wiring over here I was miss I was missing the zip tie so the wires were all over the place so just always attention to detail very thorough let me just check this connection right here sometimes it's not soldered touch up on that it doesn't look like they soldered it well yeah I'll be back see you guys soon okay so I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811 his call sign is on a sticker underneath the electrical tape I just wanted to cover it up so I'll go over everything I did got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes there's, the old, there's, there's some screws from another amplifier in here but here are the old SO239s replaced a few of the straps Actually, two of the straps. The third one was perfect. Problem is, if you're not careful when you install these braided straps, the solder gets wicked up in the material, so it was really rigid beyond the board. So, if you bend it too many times, it'll end up snapping, and it was only tagged underneath the board just a little bit, so it wasn't installed properly. Well, two of them weren't. So, I took the gas discharge tube off the rear circuit board, added gas discharge tubes, base the socket right there, removed the wire for the 10 meter mod, got the new SO239s for Max Gain Systems. Tighten up on a lot of hardware. There was a lot of hardware that was loose in this, and a couple of the screws were actually really loose that hold the board to the back panel. They screw into the standoffs, so you can see the new straps. So it was like rigid all the way out to here. So, you know, you always want to be careful with this. When you ship one, obviously you 
Want to tape the anode caps up underneath carefully. I like to use electrical tape. Painter's tape will work also, or scotch tape. Cut the pieces off and then tape it up. But you never want to have these hanging over the shaft. This is uh, this is like heat shrink. It's like a thin layer of material. It'll still end up arcing through. So you never want to turn it on with the straps touching the actual shaft. So change the meter protection diode and clean the rotary switches with the oxic gold so they are all set fix that solder connection over here for the support for the coil and uh, compress the socket clips clean the socket clips Tighten the hardware for the air variable capacitor, so the plate and load. The two screws that hold the plate side in were loose, and the nuts for the load side were loose. Just a lot of loose hardware. So, she's now good to go. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. The website is amprepairguy.com. I have the instructions on how to ship the amp in and packing all the packing info also on the site it's first selection on the left side of the page the drop down menu my other website is harbachelectronics.com for people ordering harbach kits everything i have listed on the site is in stock and i get it out within one business day so i'm very fast with everything i do so there's a lot of stuff going on here and uh I'm almost, I keep saying it, but I'm almost done with the, the RF deck for the 160 through 15 meter amp. I've been working on it the past a uh, couple days, uh, but I will do a video on that and I can finally get that off my workbench and then get to work on the bottom half. So, just so much to do here and my own personal projects are secondary to paying work and uh, pushing myself to want to work on an amplifier that I'm not getting paid to work on, to build, you know, it's tough, you know, it's what I do for a living, so it's just, it's tough to want to do it, but I'm almost done with the RF deck, and plus it's not a, there, there's some engineering to it, trying to uh, reuse the stock protection and all that, that's all set, but, you know, if I took the easy way out and bought new meters, and you know, didn't have to use the protection board. I mean, it, you know, could have been quicker, but I'm reusing the meters. I have four sets of those meters, and, you know, um, I'm getting to it when I have time and motivation because I have a lot of other things to do, like I said, and uh, I have life, and uh, it's almost winter, so I won't have anything outside to do soon, so that's when I'll be gun ho on getting that thing gung-ho on getting it finished so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe i'd really appreciate it again amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com 203-892-4119 is the number for the amp repairs all harbach orders must be placed through the website if you're outside the united states drop me an email to the email address on the harbach site and we can go over uh, what's needed to do a international transaction. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day. 73.